Never put batteries or electronics in your recycling bin. The new warning tonight from the DNR after a device started a fire inside a compactor in Outagamie County. Stephanie Haynes explains the danger and what you should do. Most smartphones, computers, tablets get their power from lithium ion batteries. And even if they're dead, the DNR says they can still carry considerable charge. So much charge, the DNR believes a lithium ion battery sparked a fire in a compactor box at an Outagamie County recycling center. We're seeing more and more in the waste industry incidents of fires, many of them minor, but you know, fires caused by these batteries that get damaged by equipment. Tech repair workers at U Break I Fix on Silver Spring Drive say puncturing the lithium ion battery can cause a reaction. If it was like actually like stabbed by something, so say like a knife, tweezer, something like that would actually poke it and expose the inside of the battery, then it would go into a thermal runaway and actually kind of start to combust, especially in a landfill where there are a bunch of sharp, jagged objects all over the place. That's why his crew takes extra precautions to recycle and ship out non-functional batteries. When the, we do pull these out, yeah. we actually do cut the lead on the, on the battery there. Um, just to, you know, prevent it from kind of connecting to other pieces of metals while it's being shipped out. And if it does combust, they put it in a bucket of sand. The precautions surrounding batteries and electronics extends to airport security. As TSA and the FAA prohibit extra lithium batteries in checked bags, and they must be removed and kept with you on the flight. Plus, the DNR says electronics are banned at Wisconsin landfills. Batteries and electronics can't go in the recycling cart, even if you want to recycle them. So that's the number one thing. Instead, the DNR says you should recycle your electronics at a designated drop off facility. Most home improvement stores have them, or you can search for one on the DNR website, which we will have a link to at TMJ4.com. Stephanie Haynes, today's TMJ4.